you know, I'm going to take up a surgery on pylonidal sinus today. It's a young man, about 15, uh, got a history of a recurrent pain and fever um, and a swelling in the lower end of the spine um, for the last about two to three years. Uh, what is a pylonidal sinus? I thought I'll share with you. Pylo means hair, nidus means house. So hair which normally grow on our skin, when they make a house underneath the skin, it becomes a source of infection. And they keep going deeper and deeper. They can go up to the bone also. And they can make various tracks here and there. So it uh, really spoils that region, lower end of the spine. What we do about it, people come to us with enough of Google search and do talk about recurrences and what are we going to talk about or do about it. Recurrences, why do they occur and how do we prevent, uh, you know, especially people who specialize, surgeons who are specialists in this surgery, how do we prevent recurrences? Number one, advice to surgeons and to everybody. You see, do not operate in an acute stage. It's a chronic disease, so exacerbations, acute exacerbations do occur in between. Abscess forms and swelling forms and redness comes in, fever comes in. Do not operate. This young man also come to me with an acute exacerbation. Well, I gave him antibiotics. I gave him about a month and a half, and now it's just about a hole there. So MRI tells me that this hole goes two centimeters upwards and inwards. It is almost stopping short of the bone. Well, what do we, how do we do or take care of it? You see, when we remove it, we remove it in a way that the midline is shifted on the side. It's only in the midline lower bottom that the, you know, the hair start going in. So we shift the midline and then remove the entire. We first probe the a sinus then we put in a little methylene blue so that entirely wide locally it is removed the entire bad area has been removed now if we close the skin it is like putting a roof on a well it will sink someday and recurrences will happen so the cause of recurrences are three one when we're treating it in an acute stage it's very difficult to prevent recurrences secondly if we are unable to remove the entire thing, then of course recurrence will occur. Third thing, if we close the skin on top, it's like putting a roof on a well, it will sink and recurrences will happen. So what do we do? We mobilize the skin and this fat underneath, the tissues underneath, and close it. We call it a flap surgery. So any sort of a multiple sorts of flaps are an option and we choose the type of flap which is required in a particular patient depending upon the size of the defect. So this is how we prevent recurrences. There is no other way and this is a foolproof way to prevent recurrences.